hope you are good welcome to my channel sri world of coding in today's video we going to see how we can drop tools from a data frame using pyspark so let's begin so let's begin with importing our sample data set that i have created we can import it using spark.read.csv okay and just pass the path okay we want our first row as header and also we want to infer the schema and just i will show df dot show so this is our sample data set that data type created so let's drop the rows which contains null for example uh, first name a row with first name as rock has null value similarly with first name jack has street name as null so what we'll do just write df dot drop na and just write dot show so it will drop all the rows with any values in it for in at first we were having four nine rows but in our this output we have only six rows now let's drop any from specific column rows containing any so what we'll do we will write df dot uh, where okay we need to pass the column name okay. mm, the column name is having null okay dot is null or is not null okay so what this will do uh it will output rows which are not null depending on the column second name so let's run it so you can see uh, second name in column second name we have only one null value and its first name is rock but when you will see the output there is no row with first name jack rock oh sorry rock okay now let's see another example we want to drop our duplicate row so as you can see this row this first index row and this row is completely identical and we want to drop the duplicate rows so what we can do we will just write df dot drop duplicates dot show and it will drop the duplicate rows so earlier you can see there were two rows with same entry okay and in the output it got deleted okay similarly we can drop uh, duplicates from a column as well so just what we need to do we we have to pass df dot drop duplicates and pass the column name okay it can accept multiple name multiple columns just i will write df dot show okay so what we'll do in our data set we have sam 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 okay three entries with same first name so what it will do it will just in the output there will be only uh, one first name with sam as you can see other two are deleted okay but okay now let's come to the next scenario where we only want to keep uh, uh, rows with some condition and want to delete the other okay so for example we want to drop duplicate rows by keeping the first duplicate occurrence and want to delete the other entries for example i will show you 
I will just write df dot show. Okay, so as you can see, there are three entries for Sam. We just want to keep keep the entry of Sam which have the least date of birth. Okay, so we for that we will use the Windows function or you can also say the rank function which we use in SQL. Those who are compatible with rank function can easily understand this code. Okay, so let's begin. What we'll do, write. Okay, we will write df1 equal to df dot. Uh, we want to uh, select the rows. Okay, S E L E C T. Okay, and just pass the all all columns that we want to output okay for example we want to pass in our output we want these columns or let's say we only want the date of birth column okay what we'll do Mm, yeah. Mm, there will is a wrong. Okay. Also, f dot row number. Okay. We want over. Okay. Then we will import window. Window dot partition by. Okay window dot partition by on column name we want the partition to be named on column first name and we want to order by okay dot order by o r d e r okay order by on column uh, let's do one thing move to next line okay and write df we want to order by date of birth okay dot alias Let's give the column name as row number, row underscore number. Okay. Yeah. So what we are doing, we are selecting these columns, these three columns only with df dot select and passing the column names. And then we also want the row number. Okay. And we want to partition by. Okay. On column first name and we want to order by on date of birth okay just write df dot fill and we want to filter all the records with row number one as we want only want the first entry okay we want df dot row it will be row num only row row num equal to equal to one dot show and let's see the output seems some error column is not callable why so uh, select we are selecting all the columns name we want to output okay and then we are also uh, creating one column with name row num and we are partitioning all the rows on column of first name and ordering by on date of birth okay and we are renaming that column as a row num and after that what we are doing we are filtering from the data frame created df1 with row num equal to 1 okay so what happens uh, all the rows with row num 1 gets filtered out 
Okay. Now, yeah. Now we want we want to keep the rows from last occurrence. Okay. And delete all the duplicate rows and keep the rows from the last uh, occurrence. So the code will remain the same until here. Okay. Let's name it df2. Okay. And what we'll do this time we will do group by and we'll select the rows depending on the max row now okay so what we'll do we will do df2 dot group by okay we will keep the same number same columns okay we are okay and we want to pass the aggregate fun function okay and the aggregate function name is df2 dot row or let's write this row underscore num and then or we can also write like this also dot show so what it will uh, the code has done it has partition by on column first name and uh, is keeping the rows with maximum value of row num for example this sam singh okay um uh, yeah Samsung uh, has more than entries. Okay, you can see Samsung or Sam Sivasto. You can see it has the maximum entry, so it has kept the maximum value and removed the least one. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Kindly like and subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.